a little bit. Um, you know, you guys, you guys know how I feel, obviously, about Cam. I've been very clear about that for a long time. I think if you ask the guys on this team, the guys that have played with him, you're going to be hard-pressed to find anybody who's saying anything bad about him. And obviously, I'd be at the top of that list. I've told him a lot. It's been the best thing that's ever happened in my career. You know, coming here, um, this has been the best eight years of my career, and obviously, he's a big part of that. So. As far as other people's experiences, you know, it's hard to speak on what on how they feel. But you know, I know my eight years with him and countless other guys that have played with him have benefited from playing with him. And uh, past that, it, you know, it's kind of hard to speculate on how other people view it. Where do you think that came from? I don't know. It was, yeah, it's kind of weird. I think we all kind of felt the same way. But you know, we all you know, we all wish Kevin Kelvin the best. Uh, obviously. Things change, but uh, you know. But again, we you know, we've talked at length about how guys around here feel about Cam. And, you know, obviously you don't like people going after your quarterback, uh, but I think Cam knows how the guys here feel about him. And I would imagine that that's what he holds the most, you know, holds the most credence to. So, Greg, how did guys feel when Kelvin was here about you know? We, of course, all read and heard about his weight issues. What did you think about him as a teammate? Well, Kelvin was fine. You know, Kelvin was a good teammate. You know, I, I think for the most part, you know, everybody has their has their things. You know, and not one guy is immune to it. Not one guy is the only one. The NFL is, at this time of year, there's 90 guys on a roster. All 90 of those guys have a story. All 90 of those guys have struggles, personally, football-wise. Um, you know, that's not unique. Um, you know, I. You know, we enjoyed Kelvin for the, you know, for the most part. He was a good, pot, you know, good person to have around. Um, things didn't work out here for him. Uh, I know, it, you know, I get it. I, I know what that's like. But um, you know, you'd like to see him just kind of move move forward to his new team and embrace his new opportunity, rather than you know, kind of go personal on it. But I get it. I, I know I've been shipped off from another team too, so I get it. But you know, at the same point, I always knew there was more I probably could have done at that point in my career. And, Try to make those improvements now the last eight years to do what I thought I was capable of. Do you think Cam hurt his progression early in his career though? Yeah, I can't imagine that. I mean, he was the MVP, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Not with Kelly, though. No, but just in general. I mean, you play with an MVP quarterback. There's, there's like four of them and five of them in the league right now, right? So, I, I don't know. everybody feels how they feel. Obviously, you know how I feel and how we feel about Cam. And I think right now it's really all that matters. I mean, you can probably find a lot of people throughout the league that have opinions about me, you, Cam, the Panthers, our organization, you know, people have opinions. That's that's just the world of today. And uh, a lot of people's opinions are formed um, when, when they don't really want to accept things themselves. How did Cam seem to handle it out there? I mean, I guess he's talked to you guys about it, or y'all, how did that come up? Did you, I think he was fine today. I think he was. <laughs> I think he was himself. I, I don't really think it had much of an impact.